Hello and welcome to Infinity. The channel mixer is a very powerful tool, but a bit complex to use. And we're going to look at something called the 100% rule, which is a very useful way of keeping things in balance. So let's put a channel mixer onto this chart of colors here. And we're in the red channel here, which means whatever we do down here, we are only changing the ch the red part of each pixel. Any pixel has red, green and blue, and we're only changing the red bit. So if I take the red here and I turn it down, colors start to change here. And the red we see gets darker there. It looks like the green is changing here, but believe me, the, that green is the same green as you had before. It's because the colours around it are changing. It's an optical illusion. It looks like it's changing. Cyan, likely, likewise, is not changing. Cyan is, is green and blue. Um, but if we just notice a key thing about this, because we're turning down the red here, the red in the white and this is the important bit. The red in the white is also affecting it. So the white is getting less white. In fact, it's getting more cyan because the opposite of red, because it's the green and blue are still up there, but the red bit's going down. So what we can do is compensate for that. Because we took the this down here, we can push the green and blue either of them back up again. And if I push this up to from 45 there, so I push this up to 55 here, the whites have gone back to white. So this is an actual white again, because I've taken red out from the, the red slider here, but I'm putting red back with the green one. And because green in whites is at 100%, 255, then it puts it back as I turn it up again in that same proportion because the reds are also at their maximum in white. But other colours where there is not so much of the red or green and so on, then they get affected differently. So if I turn this off, it was like that, and this turned it on. See, off, on, off. On. So you see that uh, magenta, for example, is significantly affected, but that's because there is red in magenta. Off and on. There we go. So the key rule is make thing changes turn up to uh, add up to 100%. I could do it also, for example, by turning this down. And a classic technique is you tweak one to get an effect, then you tweak the other two an equal amount, half of what's left, until you get the white there. So you got I've got 33, 33 and 45. That doesn't add up to 100. So let's turn these down a bit. Say 25, say 30. That's sort of close together. And 45, that adds up. That means the whites stay white. And the greys as well. So also the tones all stay like that. So let's just reset this for a moment. What happens if I turn red up? When I'm turning red up, the white is not changing. And it's because the white, the red in the white is already at 255. I can't increase it anymore. But what it does affect is the red in the grey, which isn't at 255. So I'm pushing the red up there for grey has the same value of red, green and blue. And I'm pushing up the red so there's more red in it, so it's appearing red. So I've got 156 now. So I want to get it back to 100% so I could effectively take off 56. So I pull this down here, say like if I turn that down to you know, minus 25, that means I've got uh, another, what's that going to be? A little bit more of a 25, 30-ish, isn't it? Around about 31, something like that. But also, and this goes to grey. The grey here has gone back to grey, so the tones are balanced. So in other words, if you want to balance the tones, you need to make these things add up. Let's have a very quick look at a picture doing this. Here we have a picture with some green and some blue in it. 
here's the channel mixer so let's go to the green channel and pick green if I want to make the greens greener here say I want to add a bit of punch to this greenery I can turn the green up but look at what's happening in the sky that's going a bit green as well it's adding green to the blue to making that bit more cyan including the white that looks unnatural I've gone up 43% so I need to bring the others down I could do it just with blue just go down minus 43% you know or thereabouts you won't notice a little bit off in which case the blues have gone back to their natural colour and this is still that green or I could half and half it and put around about minus 20 something here minus 20 on this and you can watch the effects as we do this uh, and that sort of balances out so we can use these that rule of 100 again 100% and I'll repeat it one more time when you're tweaking these if you want to keep the tones the same the whites and the greys the same then make sure these add up to 100% and that should fix that problem so you can adjust ch to change one colour with not affecting the others okay that's enough for this video that's the 100% rule and I hope you find it useful and thank you much for, for watching bye bye